Greetings, greetings from the sunniest country in Africa or one of the sunniest countries in Africa called Zambia. My name is Matthew aka Machu08. Right now I'm in the heart of Zambia called Lusaka. Lusaka is the capital city of Zambia. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I would like to say thank you to all the returning viewers. This is the reason why I keep on saying that Zambia is one of the sunniest countries in Africa. It is very sunny and congested at the same time because it is during the rush hour. Hence the congestion that you can see. And in today's video, I would like to show you one of the most and only tourist skyscraper or building in Zambia, the entire Zambia. What am I trying to say? In Zambia, we only have one tourist and oldest building. As I'm walking towards the tallest building in Zambia, I'm just showing you what is happening on the ground you can see the congestion and how everything is fixed it is quite crowded here because Lusaka is the capital city of Zambia people yearn to come to this place to just see how life moves because it's the busiest city in Zambia the name of this building is called Findeko House. I will talk about how it was built in which year it was in which year the construction started and when it came to completion. I'll give you a full detail of this building called Findeko. Amazingly surprisingly after 60 or maybe almost 60 years of independence Zambia has only got one tall building which happened to be the tallest building please as you are watching don't forget to like this video then um, we have already arrived to this building and this is just the ground view of the famous tallest building in Zambia called Findeko yeah I'm sorry going up I hope you are ready to see this building I will show you from different angles Findeko house on the Cairo road in Lusaka Zambia the building dominates the Lusaka skyline and the historic heart of economic buzz in Lusaka along the Cairo road so this tallest building is located along the famous and one of the cleanest roads in Lusaka called Cairo Road. It is tall and aspirational, modernist and progressive and at the same time as a symbol of bygone area of state capitalism. Findeko House on the Cairo Road in Lusaka, Zambia. The building dominates the Lusaka sky. These are the stairs that takes people up personally i've never been inside this building i know nothing about what happens inside but i've just decided to come and show you this building because it has been here for so many years if you've been to zambia and you've never seen this building then i don't know because this is the face of zambia whenever you type zambia this is the building that pops up first on your google search or whatever engine that you use to search for zambia down here it has got different shops they sell different products you can talk about printing bureau de change mobile phones it is a building it is it is i can say it is an economic it is an economical building Findeko House is the tallest building or skyscraper in Zambia with its 23 floors. Its construction started in 1977 and ended in 1979. Findeko House was initially owned by Parasteto 
company with the same name, Findeco, which simply means finance development company. Findeco House was one of the projects in Africa and Middle East designed by Yugoslav architects. Yugoslav was one of the 120 countries in the world that formed the non-aligned movement which were in charge of building different buildings in Africa and Middle East. They were contracted to build this structure. Immediately after its completion, it became a major spotlight in Lusaka. One of the first businesses to be opened at Finlay House was a pioneer in Zambia's entertainment. The studio which was called Studio Number 22. From inception and after, there has been some folklore stories surrounding Findeco House like it was like it should have been more than 23 stories but then it started bending. I think this one could be true because there is another building in Lusaka that has been abandoned because during the construction it started bending. But there is nothing of substance that can be given to this as there has been no official statement. Today, Findeco House stands as Zambia's tallest skyscraper at 29 at 299 meters. One thing that I can say is why is Findeco still the tallest building in Zambia? It is now over 50 years after Zambia got independence and Findeco House was opened in 1978 with only 23 floors it has gone and challenged for so many years or from the time Zambia got its independence over the years the bigger question in many people's mind is why it is why is Findeco still the tallest building in Zambia how I wish fam I could answer that one too but I'm also asking myself the same question hoping that the government will do something to build up other buildings because this building has been unchallenged from the birth of Zambia. It has got this car park that cannot be extended because this building is surrounded by so many buildings. Demolishing surrounding buildings could be of cost to the government. I hope one day I will have an opportunity to go inside and see what happens in this tourist building in Zambia. From afar, this is just the view. You can even see car, you know, passing. This road is always congested. What do you think about this Zambia just having one tallest building for the past 60 years? Leave a comment and let me know. If you are watching from another country, it could be an African country, let me know how, how many tallest buildings do you have in your country. Otherwise, here in Zambia, we only have one at the moment. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. As the sun is shining, scorching on me. I hope you guys, you did enjoy viewing this tallest building in Zambia called Findeco. Otherwise, I would like to say thank you to you for subscribing and for liking this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Paka, paka, bye bye, ciao ciao from Lusaka, Zambia.